hello friends in today's video i am going to explain you 150 high yield topic name there are lot of probability one mcq from these topic in examination they are very 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 high yield topic and i already make a program of 150 high yield video summary because uh, let's see uh, first uh, topic is sti it's sexually transmitted disease but if you are going to study with a book so many diseases were there so which diseases are important what kind of mcqs are going to ask in exam for that i already uh, make a program 150 high yield and 200 important topic video so i ex cover this topic sexually transmitted diseases everything is there only five ten minutes i cover everything but if you are going to find in a book lot of information then viral infection this is not vira this is viral infection like herpes hpv fungal infection mycobacterial infection okay blistering disorder pigmentary disorder these are the high yield topics like histopathology of epidermis dermis uh, mcqs on hallucination delusion illusion psychosis and neurosis difference schizophrenia every exam there is a no exam without schizophrenia mcq extra pyramidal side effects also no examination paper without this topic every time they like to ask personality disorders obsession compulsion disorder panic disorder alcohol alcohol and opioids alcohol every time there's a one mcq in exam on alcohol withdrawal symptom on all alcohol craving how to treat when seizures develop on a delirium tremens everything included in alcohol so i cover in my video of 150 and 200 high yield topics for inict and neat pg uh, only in 5 10 minutes i explain about everything most important that's why my videos are very helpful eating disorders like uh, bulimia anorexia acute and chronic osteomyelitis most important topic tuberculosis tuberculosis of uh, lung kidneys tb of bone so it covers everything benign malignant bone tumors very very high yield topic one mcq in exam nerve injuries test like car test pen test book test so so many tests but if you are going to study this topic too much detail in books too much detail so guys if you want to take subscription of my video that will help you a lot complication of fracture rickets scurvy osteomalacia okay these are very very high yield topics like regional anesthesia asa guidelines cervical spine injury general anesthesia inhalation anesthesia iv anesthesia neuromuscular blockers how they like to ask mcq in neuromuscular blocker i already discussed everything in my videos neuromuscular blocker like uh, malignant hyperthermia is most commonly caused by succinyl choline short acting muscle relaxant is succinyl choline and if succinyl choline not in option then mivavarin okay itracurium uh, lo local anesthesia labor analgesia cardio pulmonary cerebral resuscitation every time one or two mcq in exam investigation of choice definitely one to ex mcq in examination from investigation of choice so i individually make a video about investigation of choice drug of choice always always without these mcqs no paper arthritis osteoarthritis rheumatoid arthritis gout pseudoarthritis okay so tom smith arthritis so i already make videos on individual topic so guys if somebody wants in a right track right path study they can take subscription of my videos metabolic bond diseases expiratory chest x-ray on pneumothorax inflammatory bowel disease like crohn's and ulcerative colitis so many mcqs if you are going to study from any other source if you are studying like uh, ulcerative colitis so many things but in exam what kind of mcq they are going to ask that is a trick okay that is a trick so with the help of my videos i already make very easy to understand everything like radio sensitivity radio resistant tumor okay some other lists 
arrhythmias ecg every time one mcq two mcq mi mi management okay mi ecg finding a non st elevated st elevated and myocardial infarction markers they all are very high yield murmurs rheumatic fever rheumatoid arthritis sarcoidosis and kylosin spondylitis poly myocytes and dermatomyocytes congenital heart disease coarctation of aorta uh, sometimes they x ray finding they like to ask boot shape heart sign 3 okay box shape heart so they are very very gold standard mcq in exam definitely you are going to receive so many questions from this 150 high yield topic in exam minimum minimum 100 to 150 mcq you are going to directly receive from these topics but these are the topic and what kind of mcq they are going to ask what kind of paper is neat pg and nict they both are different so guys if you want a perfect study right path in a short period then this video will help you if you are interested to take subscription of my videos also helpful glomerulonephritis okay hemodialysis acute and chronic kidney injury systemic lupus erythematosus pulmonary embolism one mcq definitely maybe investigation of choice gold standard investigation okay copd bronchial asthma bronchiectasis cystic fibrosis ards trauma to chest epilepsy seizures subarachnoid hemorrhage uh, uh, subdural hematoma extradural hematoma nerve palsy uh, like uh, uh, wrist drop okay facial nerve palsy stroke acute and chronic stroke transient ischemic attack management investigation of choice meningitis csf findings okay gbs hepatitis a b c d e so this is use explanation for hepatitis but i summarize this hepatitis in a one single page okay esophageal carcinoma akhalasia beak bird manometry is a investigation of choice so such mcqs in exam guys but if you are going to study everything so very difficult but i summarize in a very short and sweet manner interstitial obstruction lymphomas hodgkin non hodgkin leukemias all cml cll diabetes gold standard sometime drugs used in diabetes mechanism of action type 1 type 2 moody they like to ask additions cons and cushing syndrome thyroid disorders hypo hyperthyroidism graves disease thyrotoxicosis parathyroid goiter breast cancer man 1 man 2 man 3 adrenal incidentaloma pheochromocytoma hernias pediatric tumor cystosomiasis causes hemorrhagic cystitis and bladder cancer also carcinoma bladder burns growth development milestone neonatal sepsis and malnutrition acute severe malnutrition these are very very high yield topics some important topic like bmw uh, biomedical waste management always every year one mcq nerve injury test vaccines always every year one or two mcq in exam logos chest x ray image based hp histopathological findings instruments antidots poisoning like proteins carbohydrate fats drugs adverse reaction contraindication in pregnancy drugs vasculitis autopsy findings contraceptions these are very very high yield topic guys ca ovary endometrial carcinoma menstrual physiology pcos polycystic ovarian disease pelvic inflammatory vulvovaginitis amenorrhea fibroid endometriosis adenoma cis infertility these are very very high yield topics for exam point of view some other also i put here ectopic pregnancy malposition of fetus hypertension pregnancy mtp pph diabetes pregnancy uveitis glaucoma from ophthalmology uveitis glaucoma neuro ophthalmology cravo bravo cataract refractory errors these are high yield orthosclerosis from ent pns x ray findings nutrition okay disaster management non communicable disease biostats hanging culture media gram positive gram negative immunology hypersensitivity antigen antibodies markers cancer markers cell injuries okay amyloidosis paraneoplastic syndrome glycogen storage disease embryology and fetal circulation congenital heart diseases so guys these are very very high yield topic if you want to crack exam 
if you want to study all these topics individually it take one year time or two year okay so you have only three months so for you a better option is to take subscription of my videos thank you good day good day